is up guys it's so much welcome back and yes it has been a very very long time i do apologize but i did want to take the holidays off for the family spend time with friends and family but we're back we're going to make some more videos on mobas we're gonna start out with mobile legends this year because i've, I've got some concerns with this game guys it's doing phenomenal as far as downloads people playing it but servers have seemed to become a very big issue now if you don't know what i mean if you engage in more than just a couple people around you the game seems to just lag to the point to where it doesn't want to work uh doesn't matter what kind of device i've tried it on it's the servers now you can see right now i've got a fine ping my ping was 33 before i even started the game but once you get into it it seems like it just degrades it kind of ping pongs off of whoever is playing it i don't know what it's doing but it's very very frustrating trying to play this game especially for beginners i could see that uh people that first starting out is being very discouraging to play the game because it's not consistent uh this as far as mobas this has become one of the most inconsistent games uh guys i do know that you can pump out a hero every week yes we know that you've already said that you're going to do that but please please fix the servers that's all we are asking for you've got millions of people playing this game 10 million downloads on android you've got over 2 million followers alone on facebook and that's what another quarter million almost on youtube yourself so you have the reach to get out to these players guys uh in moontoon just i don't know i don't know what to tell you guys um i've honestly i've been through this same situation before with another company and uh they did not listen to the community they could just continue stacking stuff out and their game pretty much is killing itself uh, they're not paying attention to what the community is saying when you have two million two million people telling you your servers are not working correctly um, I think it's time to actually go back and look at that now I'm sorry if we're starting the year out sounding like we're kind of just complaining about everything but I mean unless somebody says something about it I don't think anybody is going to do anything about it um, Yes, there are a lot of creators that are making content for this game. They are putting out, you know, promotional videos all the time, but I don't see anybody else doing this that is actually speaking English. Um, it's kind of weird to see it like that, especially it being such a large game. I know there's other ones in different languages because the game's worldwide, but there could be somebody that's gonna stand up and speak out against that. And of course, I'm gonna do that. We're not just going to sit back and let them run the game into the ground. If they do, we'll pick up another one. But we are playing with the Season 2 skin of Alucard. Um, I've not really played him a whole lot, so I'm not a professional. But I can tell you he is very good in certain situations. Now right there, I'm not going to waste my ultimate because he's just going to run away. And I'm not trying to push the tower this early in the game. We don't even really have any life still. So the point of trying to, you know, get up and level up in the beginning of the game is very key. Now, killing some of this stuff is fairly easy. I uh, believe is the turtle up. The turtle, no, he's going to be up top. So the turtle at level four with Alucard, you can kill the turtle. Uh, he's pretty strong early game. And we might be able to get a kill right here. No, this is going to run me into that. Get shot by the tower, and he's going to chase. Bam! That is what Alucard is good for. That regen, it only took one hit, but that ultimate is pretty awesome. And we're going to go ahead and farm up some more. Um, and this year, guys, I do kind of want to do stuff a little bit different. I know I do a lot of these gameplays to where I do like gods types and stuff like that, but I actually want to branch out and do some more stuff that's much more enjoyable as in just playing the game and being myself instead of having or trying to teach somebody else what to do. I'm just going to try to take that for me, but I ended up getting it myself. Okay, we have two people possibly in closing in on them if they pay attention. Um, there's another thing about early in this game is people paying attention it's very hard to get somebody to actually pay attention life still wasn't that great right there still early game to be jumping in that much 
So I want to ask you guys this. If you could change any one thing in this game, or just tell the developers your opinion on this game, what would you tell them? Leave it in the comments, and I'm going to email this to the devs. Uh, they supposedly have a ML fan place that they look at all the content that fans create. So this can get to the developers. So if you have anything concerning about the game, something you would wish, wish for them to see, you know, they're not going to hear you unless you say anything. So guys, leave a comment on this video and let the developers know what you want to see changed in this game. I know they've had outlets and many other things where people are leaving comments, but if we just keep telling them over and over and over, hopefully one day they might listen. Uh, tank in one lane, she's okay. I'm going to drop bottom and try to help these guys down here real quick. Looks like they've already pushed that tower, but the healer is down here as well. So I'm going to come down here and help her out and get around. Our tower is still good. And they look all right as well. All right, let's see if we can get something going here. Get some good damage in. No, that's another thing. Targeting. Oh, my God. Targeting is ridiculous in this game. I had to just get rid of that because it did no use. Uh, a tap to target would be amazing in this game. It's uh, it's very doable. I have seen it done in a mobile. I will show you guys later on this week what I'm talking about with that. And after a few days, we'll get into some more stuff from China, actually, that is pretty cool. Uh, I'm kind of excited to uh, play some of those games some more. And hopefully a United States company or English speaking com person will pick up that game and develop it for the United States. But you'll have to wait a couple more days until I show you that. Uh, let's see. This guy's up. You can kill him right at right. You can kill him at like a level 10 or 11. He's gonna go ahead and run. Kind of keep these guys at bay, keep them back away from the towers. Which Alucard is very good at that. He's pretty decent at sustain. Um, I have not tried any like crazy custom builds with him yet. Like I said, I just got back into playing. I uh, picked up my season two skin and all my rewards, all that the other day. And we're going to wreck, focus on the healer. Got her right here. Nice. All right, the ultimate does a lot of damage when you use it. As long as you have that person targeted though, or whoever you use it on, you're gonna get more life still from attacking that person. Uh, just remember that much. And using the ability again, it pretty much cancels that out and does damage, I'm assuming. Uh, that's one thing I really haven't dove deep into is a lot of the abilities for some of these guys. Uh, Turtle's gonna be no problem for this level. Checking the map, we got two in mid and two at top, so one's missing. So we're going to drop back down, help these guys out at mid. Uh, she stays, she's got, oh, did not get caught by that stun. It should have got caught by the stun, that's nice. So we jumped up about three levels ahead of the enemy team, which that's just the consequences of farming. Not very hard to do. If you pay attention, you can jump ahead of quite a bit of people in these games and that can make the deciding factor as long as your other guys don't go AFK. Now you saw earlier where I had to vote to whether or not let a bot take over one of my guys and to whether leave him at base. Uh, always opt out to leave that guy at base because you have a better chance four versus five than you do with a bot in here. Uh, it's kind of always been like that. The bots for this game are terrible. They will just literally run straight in and die. So always opt out to leave your guys at the base if you've ever wondered about that. Uh, if you have any other questions in general about this game, I might not be able to answer it, but one of the members of the community here could answer it. Uh, we have a lot of guys that are constantly looking for stuff to do with the games, and they play them every day. And if you don't know how big this game has gotten, Banglory seems to have gotten a bit scared. I wouldn't say, well, maybe scared. They're just... Vainglory players are picking this game apart, trying to get SEMC to put some of this stuff in their game. That's how bad they want something new. 
it's awesome that they have actually jumped up and wanted to make something out of that game finally uh, it's been a great game but I can say competition is going to make it better and hopefully with all the competition with MOBAs this year we're going to have a lot better things to show you guys this guy's gonna come in where are you going buddy all right so let's pick up some more attack I could have went to the third level on the ultimate there but I did not we'll have to wait and get another level which shouldn't take too long at this level you kill stuff pretty quick so we'll go ahead and take out this lane I probably should have went with a crit right there instead so builds are another thing that I do eventually want to get into but I'm playing such a variety of different games it's it's really hard for me to keep up with them sometimes all right there's that third level but I do want to progress with this uh, see we're at 100 ms and it's yellow that makes sense it's like it's pinging from just wherever uh, they are not paying attention to base okay we have one my two of them did and let's let's uh let's farm up some more if you don't know what to do always just go kill something always always be looking for something to kill uh turtles back up we're all five over here so that's gonna be some easy gold real quick everybody should just jump in hopefully and kill this yeah it went down pretty quick now these guys could transition with us we have three here adora you're dead he's gonna run I'm not gonna chase now they did change his ability up I did notice that he is able to be stunned while he's in the ultimate uh, but he can't be slowed uh, so balances are happening with the characters but it seems like they're pumping out characters too fast for you to actually be able to correctly balance the game it seems like every new legend that comes out every new hero whatever you want to call them it seems like they're always going to be at the pinnacle of being somewhat overpowered and it's just uh, taking time to uh, get them to change it now if they did actively monitor stuff like that which I know they have the data but in cry? this market the data is going to be very skewed when I say skewed it's the fact, the fact of people going AFK connectivity <laughs> problems the connection problems are the hugest uh, that's probably what's skewing data to make some of this stuff much better like uh, the matchmaking if there was correct matchmaking this game would be so much more fun uh, but they do have the data don't don't get me wrong they know exactly what problems are wrong are with this game now nah, buddy you're not gonna wait I mean they have data at the end of the game I'll show you you can go in here it'll tell you exactly how much damage you did to this how much damage you did to that how much damage you received overall basically it tells you how useful you are in the match and that's a huge thing when coming into a game like this is being useful I'm gonna get out before I die that was very close very very close those towers can take you down pretty quick nobody's gonna be in the way for that ultimate but it looks like it's gonna be GG yeah nobody's going to contest and I'll show you here right at the end of this this is actually only the second match I have won since rank started over I did finish the season off with uh, I believe topped in the master rank so I got the s2 skin this is new the protection point and the rising star um, I'm not sure how well that's gonna offset the people that are actually not playing the game and just screwing you over every time now the report system completely useless in my opinion uh, I don't want to receive a message every time you guys get a report and the other thing is data button this is what I'm saying look at the data on this you have enough data saying who was doing what you can tell who's doing what so why don't you guys take this data and make some use out of it fix the matchmaking that's all I'm asking fix the lag stop putting content out until you get this stuff done or you're going to hurt your community severely uh, that's gonna be it guys welcome to 2017 I said if you have any questions about this game anything whatsoever I can possibly help you with feel free to leave them in the comments below
I want to also thank you guys so much over the past month and a half for being gone. There's been over six to 700 new people just from probably mobile legends that have joined. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any recommendations or requests, just leave them in the comments. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.